So we're sitting here at, at Razor at uh, BlizzCon, and what are you guys showing? You guys, first of all, you got a thousand people around this booth, and they're they're all here obviously for the for the mice and keyboards. Yeah, so we've got a couple of contests going on right now. If you stop by the Razor BlizzCon booth, we've got a selfie contest. Take a picture with the Razor triple headed snake logo. Tweet it uh, with the hashtag GetImba, and you'll be entered to win the mouse that we're about to talk about. It's the uh, all new Razor Naga Epic Chroma. It's, uh, you know, Razer started the MMO mouse genre with the original Naga uh, mouse, which is uh, known for its 12 button thumb grid. Since then, we've continually updated it and improved it, and now we've got a wired and wireless version that's able to uh, light up with the thumb grid and the scroll wheel with uh, a, a 16.8 million color options. Now, and this one's coming out soon, or is that out right now? I believe you can order it now from our okay. website. Very yeah. cool, very cool. And then you also mentioned the sound bar, but before we get to the sound bar, it, it, I don't think. Talk, talk to me about this laptop because I don't think this was a. This was like a. a last time I saw you at E3, it was only kind of a demo. It wasn't a. I don't know. We, we've had. We've had. This is a 17-inch Razer Blade Pro. It's got an NVIDIA GTX 860 inside. Okay. And an Intel i7 quad-core processor. It's got um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's really a laptop that's designed for uh, professionals. You know, whether they're in photography or uh, they do camera work. And they also game. So it's gotcha. one of the most portable 17 uh, inch laptops available today. And uh, what you see on the side here is the Switchblade UI, which is a full LCD trackpad. It's the mouse trackpad. And you can actually um, customize that and the 10 keys above it with any image you want. You can hotkey your, your macros there. You can plug in uh, different functions on your computer where if you press a button, a different program launches. Uh, there's built-in applications for Adobe Photoshop, and, uh, Premiere, and Maya. All sorts of gaming applications as well built into it. So it's a crazy device. Basically like having a smartphone built into your keyboard. And, and, and okay, so that's my confusion because I saw it, but I thought it was only uh, like, a, like a prototype. No, it's not a prototype. This is for real. They said we were nuts when we came out with this yes. uh, about a couple, uh, uh, Almost three years ago, we came out with the original right, right. Razer Blade 17-inch uh, laptop. Uh, they said we were nuts because nobody wanted performance and portability in a laptop. Um, and now it's it's one of the most copied laptops out there today. Right. Everybody is trying to push uh, portability and performance. But at Razer, we really started that movement with the Razer Blade and Blade Pro laptops. Wow. Okay. So that's you know I I, I got to get my Christmas wish list together. You got it. And so I didn't I didn't realize it. Um, talk to me about the sound bar. Sure. So the Razer Leviathan is a 5.1 virtual surround bar. Uh, it's great for uh, gaming, um, uh, movie watching, and music listening. It's got a wired subwoofer that delivers, you know, deep, powerful bass tones. But what's really cool about it is it, it's small enough. You know, it's about 19 inches long. It's small enough to fit underneath your desktop monitor. Yeah. It's not a four foot soundbar that you see in living room setups that barely fits under a 60 inch TV. This thing will fit under a large desktop monitor so you really get a, a really nice virtual surround sound experience with a dedicated subwoofer uh, in whether it's a smaller living room setup or like a de uh, desktop situation. It really works great for either and it's got a wireless mode where you can hook up your phone to it uh, via Bluetooth AppX technology. You can quickly sync your phone to it and you can watch Hulu with the, or, or Netflix or anything from your, your smartphone, or you can play music wirelessly, which is really cool. And what's the, pr what's the price point on that? So that's another great thing about the soundbar. A lot of soundbars will run you up over 300, 400 bucks. This is a 199. 199, yep. and that's available. Are you guys selling those on the floor at BlitzCon right We're now? We're not selling anything on the floor, okay. but you can go to our website and check it out right now. Sweet. And last thing, I got to get you uh, the, 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 the official word on the, on the I want to say Nabu. Yes. The official word on the Nabu wearable. What's, sure. what's going on with that? So Razer Nabu wearable, uh, it's still in development, but very, very soon we hope to be making an announcement. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, you can. Okay, because I, I see the one on your wrist. Huh? You know, that a, it that, works? That doesn't look like very soon. That looks like right now. I've got an email. It I'm works. Just, oh, <laughs> my God. You know, I used to like you, you know, right? <laughs> before I walked over here. Look, we really want to thank you for, for coming out. Um, this is not your first. You guys were here last year. We were not BlizzCon last year, but we're a regular BlizzCon. We're, right. we're here semi-regular. We've well, you, you, definitely seen your product. They're, yep. they're definitely using in the, the, the Pro Series. Yep. Um, we like seeing the hardware companies out here, so we want to make sure we, we, we support our hardware companies. Definitely. Um, and so, but we're just really excited that you're out here. We're excited that you got like a million people in line. <laughs> I know, we had to cut the line off. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, 
you guys are doing something right. So we definitely appreciate it. So look, have a good rest of the weekend, and uh, we'll see you uh, in Vegas. I'll see you at CES. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys.